what's up beautiful people it's in the room and welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled the view sonny Hustin tries to justify reparation after slave owner revelation <laughs> interesting i'm excited to check this one out as it's no news about um uh, sonny Hustin discovering or finding out that her ancestors were slave owners and she says she's still she's disappointed but she still deserves reparation which is hilarious but the same i'm excited to check this out to be able to get to see let's check it out i just sensed that there could be something in my family history that would be um disappointing it's just soul crushing that not everyone related to her in the past was a wonderful person apparently but now she goes on the view and watch how she still puts ideology over everything mm. you know i was really reluctant i don't know how you felt when you did it Whoopi, but i was really reluctant to do it because i just sensed that there could be something in my family history that would be um disappointing um negative Negative, yes. I thought I was going to have that kind of moment. And Skip had asked me to do it for a long time. And I finally decided to do it because I thought it'd be helpful for my children and my children's children to know what their real, real history was, you know? So the, biz, the family business, I had been told that they were printers and journalists, but they were, in fact, enslavers. Mm -hmm. Um, and my mother, <laughs> so a hush fell over the audience. It was deeply disappointing. <laughs> Honey, how the does conquerors. this change you, though? You mentioned your mom was upset, and this was shocking, and maybe deep down you kind of resisted it. How has this changed you, knowing what you're hearing now? You know, I think at first I was deeply disappointed. Um, the I slave still, thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. And I, I, and I can't control and, and it. I, I still believe, I know, but I still still believe in reparations, like, by whoa. the way. So y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. That's I still believe uh, that. Someone did that to you? Yeah. I don't know who what? sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's 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 too much, people. But clean off your television screen. Yeah, it's it's that's a lot. So I, I I I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. There, there's so much there. I don't even know where to start. Um, exactly. First off, on Joy Behar's tombstone, it should say the slave thing is a bummer. That's what it should say on Joy Behar's tombstone. That's one part. But she's still into reparations. Oh, does that mean she wants to pay reparations now? What the high hell is she talking about? And also, you know, I was thinking while I was watching this, I, I have a genealogist in my family. Her name is Henny. She's on my mom's side. She's 100 years old. She's traced on my mom's side of the family back to the mid-1750s. And think how psychotic it would be if I looked into that and I was like, well, that guy did something bad. I owe somebody some cash. It's... It, Dad, help me. Help me with everything you just saw on that show. Her, she still has guilt. She still wants money from you. Exactly. She still has guilt. Like, to what end? When are they going to stop? The other one saying is a bummer. You just say, look at the host on The View. Bunches of hypocrites. All of them hypocrites. How would so, how did they even sleep? I can't even imagine. This is disappointing and shocking. She already knew that she was gonna expect us to get something like this so she knew it wasn't shocking so our ancestors or our family lied to her about their business of course because they were ashamed of it or they just didn't want her to feel some type of way but they knew so what if she didn't know why was she expecting something disappointing or negative from the root or from finding her road because, I mean, lots of people would be expecting, but they wouldn't be expecting something crazy or something negative. They will more than likely have doubt, like, is this real? But even her face wasn't even, was even telling that, no, she isn't shock, shocked or she isn't disappointed. And with the fact that she still believes that America has a lot to do with, you have a lot to do, Sonny have a lot to do. She believes in reparation. Who's going to pay her reparation? Herself? Because, I mean, that's the kind of reparation I would love to see. But no. Rather than hold herself accountable or um, be responsible, hold herself accountable. No. Rather, she would rather play the victim. Because she's taught to be a constant race beta. 
Oh Jesus Christ. I just don't even understand how people sit to watch these people. Just messed up. But yeah, let's go on. Me from you, it, it well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it back to what I said earlier. If you remember when I talked about uh, what is the most surprising thing that I've ever seen in my career, if you remember, I said the inability of people to yep. change their minds in light of incoming new evidence. Mm. So now she received this evidence. It should <laughs> theoretically make her a bit more intellectually humble and say, wait a minute, maybe my identity politic positions are wrong. No, mm. she doubled down and said, yeah, yeah, reparations. So it's exactly proving my point about how most people are simply unable to ever shift away from their anchored positions. Mm. It's soul crushing. It's it's so extraordinary too because she's become a millionaire media personality, exactly. who I suppose is black, right? She's black, I guess. And it's like you want. Yeah, when my... I'm in the sun in Southern California, I'm about seven shades darker than she is. So I'm the ultimate black. <laughs> You are looking disturbingly white right now for the... I know, it's horrifying. It. It's really a bit much. Uh, Carol, uh, you're a white woman from Russia. You better pay some cash to that woman. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, it's funny because Whoopi Goldberg said this thing where Jews are white and so the Holocaust was just like white on white right. violence. Right, right, right. You know, some part of me is like, wow, Jews are white now. Look at us go, you know? We, yeah. we were always white. <laughs> like, <laughs> Um, and I, I smoked Newports when I was a teenager, so I did always feel a little Puerto Rican. Um, and I, 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 you know, I, I relate to what she's going through over there. It's hard to find out you're not actually Puerto Rican and your, your ancestors might be enslavers. But look, if she wants reparations, I think that she should lead the way because exactly. the descendants of enslavers owe more to the, the descendants of slaves than those mm -hmm. of us who came here, you know, in the 70s do. So let's get, let, let her get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let her lead the way. Let her get the ball, ball rolling. And that is absolutely true. People, like what was said here, people even would expect her to be calmer, more humble, knowing that, oh, this is your history or your ancestors did this or this. Lots of people would take that moment to ref reflect and try to understand. But no, she doesn't want to understand other people's pain. The pain that her ancestors inflicted on other people. She doesn't want to. Rather, she wants to be the victim. Why? Well, if she believes in reparation, she should start paying up reparation. Because, I mean, just like what was said, she was paid millions of dollars. But no, it's still the victim would because, of course, victim would sell in America. Go to the market, buy it for a higher price. People would buy it and sell it again it's just crazy because look at them bunches of hypocrites the view host all of them hypocrites because if it was somebody who discovered or who learned let's say if you were if it was a republican or somebody with high status who happened to be a republican that found out that their ancestors were slave owners hmm? the view host they will make it a topic it will not leave their mouth. They would name so many names, but it is them, their very own, that this one just discovered. Clean off your TV screen. Somebody called you a white girl. Does she look blue to you? Or black? If she did not even open her mouth, nobody would know she's black. But why victim would do? Of course, it sells. And she's paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to sell or promote racism it's crazy but let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share and i really love you to share that you can share other useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video